How's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at another Transformer multi-changer figure. This is Six Knight, ID number is C312. He came out in 1987. He is featured in the Super God Master Force series. Great character. Used to be a Decepticon. Changed sides to the Autobots after losing a battle to Jinrai. And he has a great battle scene with Black Zarek towards the end of the show. Definitely worth checking out. Now, I've already done a review of Six Knight once before. He was one of my first reviews I actually did on YouTube a little over a year ago. Not really happy with it. And since I'm kind of doing a running theme with multi-changers right now, I've decided just to redo it. And I'll probably just end up deleting the old one. Now, we got a redecoed version of this mold here in the United States as Quick Switch, which I've done a review also. And if you guys want to check that out, feel free to. But he was, I guess, the son of Six Shot or something to that nature, which is kind of weird. But Six Knight here. Great looking box. I've always been a fan of the Takara boxes. Kind of a small box, but got a nice picture of him right there. We get to see all six of his modes. His robot mode, his hydrofoil mode, gun mode, drill tank mode, his animal mode, which I believe is a puma, maybe a panther, and his jet mode. Up top, we just see the alt modes again. Same thing on the side. And then on the back here, we get to see a nice little battle scene with the other characters in the series. We get to see his alt modes again. There's his bio, his spec chart, or tech specs. Now, one thing that's kind of unique on the box here is you can see his animal form there. His guns actually kind of form the tail, which this is the mode that we usually see in the show. But on the front here, they actually use the guns for um, shoulder cannons, which I thought was kind of unique. But all right, let's take a look at the figure now. All right, here is Six Knight in his robot mode, and since he comes packaged pretty much in this mode, I'm going to start off the review this way. Let's take a quick look at his head sculpt, because he's got some nice detail there. And some detail in the chest piece there, also. Now, he's got quite a bit of articulation for a G1 fig. You can rotate his arms around 360 degrees. He's got an elbow joint. Legs can go forward, backwards, and does have a knee joint. So you can get him into some nice poses, I guess, if you want. If you can kind of get him to stand that way, but... Now, one huge gripe about this mode is the fact that, take his guns off, you can see that he does not have any hands. Not even like little molded on to represent hands. It's just a hole on top of his would-be paw for his beast mode, which is unfortunate. Now, it does come with two guns. These are the only accessory pieces that he does come with. They are left and right, unfortunately, so you have a nice solid look on one side, and then you have a hollowed out look on the other all right let's get him into his alt modes now so we'll start off with the hydrofoil so what we're gonna do first fold his arms in take this little blue bit fold it over his face fold up his legs rotate this around rotating that around like so Take this bit, kind of just fold it like that. Take that, kind of comes out like so. Take his guns, and they're just going to plug into the holes in the back here. And we have him in his hydrofoil mode. Not too bad, I mean. Got a nice little painted window there. Got some kind of some detail. But okay, from here let's turn him into his gun mode, which in the show he doesn't actually scale down. He's just one big large gun. What we're gonna do first is pull that down. It's gonna become the trigger. Rotate these bits around, kind of lock them into place. That'll become the handle. Open up this front end. So we'll reveal this nicely chromed drill bit, which the Hasbro quick switch just comes with a um, red painted drill bit, no chrome. Take his guns, there's holes on each side of it. Just plug them in. Put up this little landing gear for the sight, I guess. And you have him in his gun mode. Not the greatest looking gun, but there you go. All right, from here, let's turn him into his drill tank mode. So we're gonna put that back like that. Take this piece, rotate this around again. Take his 
guns, plug them into the top here, like so, and then take these panels, flip them down, and you have them in his tank mode. And he does roll really nicely because of these wheels here. It does have some nice detail. It's all one solid color, unfortunately, but you can see some tank treads, some molded on detail in the plastic, which is really nice. And unlike Six Shot's tank mode, he's actually kind of right on, he's kind of flush with the ground, opposed to kind of sticking up off of it. Unfortunately, though, this piece is really loose. It's the same way with Quick Switch. I guess you could tighten it if you want. You could put some, maybe some super glue in there, but it's a common um, theme with this mold. All right, from here, let's turn him into his jet mode. What we're going to do first is put that back in. Take this piece, rotate it to the front. We're going to leave that like that. See if I can remember all this here. Rotate this around. Rotate that back. Flip that piece up. You can see there's holes. There's a hole there and a hole on the other side. Take his guns. Now, as you can kind of see, his guns are really important as far as, you know, completing his alt modes. I mean, you can see that his guns complete the wing piece. We saw it in the hydroplane, the gun the drill tank so I would totally recommend getting this guy with his guns I wouldn't try and pick him up without them so but there he is in his plane mode as you can see at the landing gears I mean, not a lot of detail in this mode I guess and from here we'll change him into his I guess it's a Puma Panther I'm not sure put that up put that in this piece is actually going to rotate. Okay, gotta move that piece down. It's going to be like that. And you're going to rotate this around. Get his front legs out. Like so. And then back here, his back legs out. All right. Pop open the top here. This reveals the animal head. Pop off the back, get the... Um, Drill bit back out. And then we take the guns here and we just attach them to the drill again. And kind of like what I mentioned in the beginning on the box, you can have them looking like this, which is what he looks like in the show. Kind of the guns are the kind of part of the tail. Or, like we saw on the front of the box, you can actually mount the guns on his shoulders. He has these nice little shoulder guns. Kind of got some nice detail in the um, animal head there. Unfortunately, he can open and close his mouth. And this is a big hindrance. I wish they could have done something better with this instead of just having it right there. It just kind of looks horrible. But And from here, to get him back into his robot mode, really simple. Tuck that back in. That back in. Rotate that up. Extend out his legs. Rotate that around. Flip up this blue bit. And he's back in his robot mode. All right, let's do some comparisons. All right, first comparison here is next to Quick Switch. As you can see, they're different colors, which is unfortunate because, as I mentioned in the review, you you need his weapons to complete his alt modes, and it would have been nice if they were kind of the same color so you can mix and match. Same is true about the stickers, unlike Dreadwind and Buster, which actually have the same color stickers. 
these guys don't. You see that there's blue here, there's red there, and even down here there's red and just silver. All right, next comparison here is next to Seven Changer from the Brave of Fighter of Legend Dagarn series, which is awesome fig. And here he is next to Six Shot. And lastly, I'm probably going to end up doing a review of this guy again, even though I've already done one, just to finish off my multi-changers from the Transformers world. There's great shots. So. All right. Quick and final thoughts, guys. Now, my opinion is a little biased. I'm a huge fan of the Super God Massive Force series, so I really like this fig. But if I was never exposed to that series, I'm pretty sure I probably would have passed on Six Knight, just because comparing Six Knight to Six Shot, Six Knight here just, you know, falls short. His alt modes are good. They're just not great like Six Shot, unfortunately. But this is the only rendition we have of Six Knight, so we're kind of stuck with it. Now, I would love to see a third-party company come along and want to give us a new version of them, kind of like Mastermind Creations did with Hexatron, but, you know, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But if you do want to pick up this guy, remember that he does come with his left and right gun, and he is a little bit hard to come by, so because of that, you're going to be looking at a higher price tag on him, probably around the $200, maybe $250 range is the last time I saw him on eBay, but... Um, so that's about it for Six Night, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.